I do, yeah. 3.8. That's my secondary range. 3.8. Rawr! All right. All right, guys. Prepare for a seven-minute queue time. I'll go play this Mikasa battle for Gabe. Remember, guys, when you're playing tier two to four, you are in queue with a whole bunch of bots and about four people, four actual players, so... So that's what Bogsy was talking about on his stream earlier, Striker, when I was watching him, was that the the new secondary skill... Torin, thank you for the follow, by the way. Um, the, um, the new secondary skill allows you to still be effective against larger targets that you're going to hold your secondaries on for long duration. Battleships, cruisers, that kinds of thing. Um, but when a destroyer gets spotted for 10 seconds, he doesn't get annihilated because you clicked on him. Right? It takes time for your secondaries to hone in on him, and by that time, he'll probably be out of, you know, if he's smart, he's either left your secondary radius or left your spotting range or something like that. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. Gaelic with the gifted subs. Thank you much. Welcome in, my friend. How you doing? How you doing? I'm glad you're all here. This has been a, this has been an interesting week. Um... How many of you watched Scuttlebutt yesterday on my YouTube channel? How many of you watched the Scuttlebutt video I posted? I'm probably not going to talk about it this game, but at some point tonight we're going to talk about what happened. In, we're going to talk about what happened, what I talked about in that video. Okay, six, seven, eight of you. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. We're going to talk about that a little more. Um, I've been a little surprised at the response that I've gotten, but also pleased. Um, I haven't made up my mind about to do anything yet, and I think this is the key point. And maybe I'll just go and talk about this now while we sit here waiting on the stinking queue. If you haven't watched the video, basically it comes down to Missouri. What Wargaming has done with Missouri has kind of... It's kind of like that the final push you know, right up to the cliff's edge and you're standing on the edge of the cliff, you know, and you're looking down going, do I back off or do I, do I just, do I just walk off the edge? Right. Because I've been walking at this cliff for a while, right. I've become more like, like so many CCs, right. And this is not a secret, right. You can ask, I won't name names, but you can ask a lot of different CCs and they'll all tell you that they're frustrated with how war gaming uh, has handled the program the last few years. Um, and so for a while in my brain, right, I've been rattling around the idea, like, do I still want to do this, right? What, what does it benefit me? The, the Probably the three big things that I genuinely care about in the CC program right now, mm, four, I'll, a four. One is... We get free stuff every month, right? And it's not an insignificant amount of free stuff, okay? We get 50 of the fa 50 of the fancy CC camos. We get 10,000 doubloons. We get every premium ship that's not for steel, basically. They just hand you. Have. Enjoy. Like, that's there's a lot of value in that as someone who doesn't invest a lot of time in the game anymore, right? Um, so that's one. Second thing is, I get free stuff to give out to you guys, Right? You guys come hang out with me on Twitch. I realize there are a non-zero a non -zero number of people that tune into the channel that I'm just a loot pinata. They're here, to, they're here to enter giveaways. They don't really care what we do or talk about. I don't have to like it, but I accept it, and it doesn't really bother me. Um, maybe it bothers me a little bit, but not so much that I really care. Like, not, not that I'm going to change it, right? I've seen streamers get very, you know, uh, chest thumpy. You have to follow me in my giveaways and all this kind of stuff. Um... <laughs> Game captains in queue. Um, that's not me, right? I, I don't. I, that's just not me. I don't really care. Okay, it's war gaming's free stuff. It does me no good. I want to give it out. Go away. I want to get rid of it. So that's two. Um, the third is um, the early look at test ships. I really enjoy doing the first look videos. Right, the first look video series that I've been doing for two or three years on my on my YouTube channel is probably the most, one of the most enjoyable bits that I get to do over there, right? I take a new ship, we go into port, we break it down, we look at it, right? And we make some, we draw, we start to try and draw some general conclusions. What does it do well? What does it not do well? 
Now that's it. That's early days, right? That's early in testing. So you don't have any idea what that's going to look like um, when it comes to it. Right? You don't know where the final ship is going to land. But I still like doing that because it logs. If nothing else, it preserves where Wargaming started with a ship's design versus where it might have released. And I like that. The last is the tournament stuff. And we were having this conversation on my Discord earlier today. Um, it's going to be a whole lot of bots. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I see what you did, him, Captain. And Gabe. Uh, oh, they're all out of here gunning for me. This is terrible. This is terrible. Um, but the last is the tournaments, right? I got into casting because of tournaments. That's why I started doing this Twitch thing four years ago. And there's a part of me that is concerned that if I walk away from the program, there are parts of that that won't... I won't get invited back to do anymore. Namely, um, most, most concerning for me is the regional finals for King of the Sea, which I've been doing for more than three years now. Ever since King of the Sea 6, I've been a part of that finals cast. And we're all, we'll be going to King of the Sea 13 in a few more months. So... Um, it's not that there are other people that could do it and do it well. It's more that I would really miss it, right? I really feel like, I mean, the nice thing about King of the Sea is that the early days, like days one, two, three, and four, anybody who wants to cast shows up. And as long as you've got it, you're, you're a streamer in good standing and you haven't, you know, done dumb things and whatever, you can, you just show up and cast King of the Sea. It's no big deal. Nobody's going to tell you no. It's that final cast, right? That, the big wargaming one on their channel and stuff. The last three of those I've done from this chair. Sitting here, I've hosted the cast and produced it on my own PC because COVID land, right? Um, I'd like to think that counts for something. At the same time, um, you know, uh, at the same time, to Jurassic Park. when like they threw Flamu out of the CC program, and then after that, they basically quit inviting him to do stuff. Switch to HE, does more damage. Okay. No, I don't think they would... I mean, here... At the end of the day, David, they can't really ban you from casting the tournament altogether. At best, they would find somebody else to do the finals cast. And there's not that much I can do about that. It's on their channel. It's their cast. Right? It just is what it is. Zomig, these guns. This hurts, man. They traverse slow. They can't hit anything. Yikes. Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> one, one shell. Oh, your engine's out. Sorry about that. Now, this is a force to be reckoned with. Have I played Genova? Yes, I have. In fact, here on the channel, we have uh, we have something called the Genova effect, uh, which is what normally happens is better. I absolutely despise Genova, and yet every time I take the ship out of port and badmouth the ship, I seem to have a good game in it. Gucci, Gucci. Damn. Desert road, no gas... And no chicks. With six, like five destroyers, this is really going to blow. At least I can hit him every now and then. He says, absolutely missing both shots. Oh, I hit him twice! I hit him with both shells! Roar! Oh my god, I hit him with two more. Oh, 
Welcome to Jurassic Park. You guys are all like secondary battle. I've got a human destroyer player up here trying to kill me by himself. So the answer is no. See, he's firing torpedoes at me right now. How can I tell? He quit firing his guns. <laughs> Suck it! My secondaries will kill him now because he's on a thousand HP. That's why. I'm actually getting decent work out of the main battery guns. I didn't think that was possible for a Mikasa. Light, light. Things are okay. Things are okay. Burn, baby, burn. That's that's right, little Smith. You just keep reversing. You just keep reversing. Wah, wah. Did I overshoot him? Wow, I overshot him. Okay. Here we go. Secondary time, boys! B-25s make it a run! Casa, baby. Meme Casa. Oh, it's Gabe chasing me down. Look at this. After his team's been shooting at me, he's pristine. I'm supposed to accept a secondary duel with this clown. I don't think so, sir. I don't think that's going to happen the way you think it is, sir. Now, this is a force to be reckoned with. I've taken on like six of your teammates already, and you're just now getting into it. No, I don't think so. Much better. It would help if my team knew how to fire torpedoes, but since they don't, it is a bit of a problem. This Long Zhang is like, oh crap. <laughs> oh, spot that clown, would you? Secondary's knocked out my rudder.
I docked out his engine. Why won't you die, Gabe? Why won't you die? Please die. and no chicks. I mean, I'm going to lose be simply because he spent... I had to spend so many minutes fighting by myself against six of his team. Uh, he didn't have better. this problem. He started 10,000 damage ahead of me. 10,000 HP ahead of me. And your engine's out. Die like the dog you are! <laughs> oh, good Mikasa dispersion. Drive me closer so I can hit them with my secondaries. I have crushed you! It only took every heal. It, all took, it only took all five heals. Yes, I think Gabe was running Yamamoto, by the way. <laughs> he was the one telling me to fire HE. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's done now. I see what you did there, Inori. I see what you did there. <laughs> no low. Skyring, that's what it was. Okay. Oh my god. Our Tachibana has six kills. <laughs> um, biscuits, it's doable. I won't pretend it's optimal, but it's doable. I have a radar Yu Yang that I play on occasion. I tend to really not like the radar on, um, uh, what's the tier eight? Is it Fen Yang? That's not Fen Yang. Long Zhang? What's the, what's the tier eight Pan-Asian bloody ship? Dang it. Sien Yang, yes. I don't like it on Sien Yang. Sien Yang is kind of on the weak side already, so I would not recommend radar Sien Yang. You can make a case for it on Chengmu, you can make a case for it on Yu Yang. Nerdy Hydra with the raid. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Come on in. Somebody give me a somebody give me a shout out for Nerdy, please. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? So yes, Mikasa remains the a meme. And I guess I have to comp the Tachibana who basically slaughtered seven seven ships by himself. I generally again, biscuits. I generally don't play RPF. Not even on a radar. Not even on a radar destroyer. Also, if if this is a big if. If you could get radar on a, sorry, RPF on a radar destroyer with torpedoes that could hit destroyers, like a Smolland, for example. Yes, yes, you're getting double duty out of the skill now, right? Um, however, you can't, don't, you don't have this problem with Chengmu and Yu Yang. Those torps can't hit destroyers. So dubious, right? Dubious. Uh, black would be a good one. Black would be a good one, Camper. 
So yeah, there's there's absolutely arguments to be made for for putting it on certain ships. 